Thank you, Colleen. Hello, everyone. How are we? Enthused, I can tell. You're really loud back there. I can't hear anything because everyone's cheering and yelling. Comedy, we love it. Keep it down. Um, so I'm an entrepreneur. And I have a few business ideas that haven't been picked up yet. So um, I thought this would be a good platform to kind of throw some ideas out. I have an idea for an Amish buffet restaurant. Uh, it would be called All You Can Churn. Yes. And then I wanted an alternative to those tampons that they're marketing now called Gentle Glide. Have you guys seen those? Yeah, what would be the opposite of that? You know, I wanted to feel that market out a little bit. So I thought I would uh, come up with a tampon called Dry Cotton Rapist. Um, let me know if you like one of those. So uh, the American economy is down the shitter right now. It's kind of bullshit. European economy is doing fine. It's like maybe they know something we don't. Maybe there's something going on in Europe that, you know, American culture has been lacking for a long time. Maybe there's a deficit. You know what I say? I say, the European market is rich in foreskins. That is a market that America has just cut out entirely. And I think we should look into that. So I'm, um, I'm 27 years old and I'm single. Dating. You guys know what that's like. Fucking sucks. Especially sucks when you're 27 because your demographic is looking for the 20 something that's, you know, experimental, fun, outgoing, just out of college. But they also realize we're almost 30. And men are scared of 30 year olds. It's true because we're a risk, we're a commitment risk. They know we're looking for something that's going to last a while. They're scared of losing their freedom. Their freedom to sit alone in their apartment with their Xbox. They're scared we're going to take that from them. They're also scared because we're a reproductive risk. They know that when we hit 30, our sex drive is going to go through the roof and babies are going to start looking like candy and diamond rings to us. That is a very real thing that happens, I guess. So, um, it sucks to be 27 and dating. Some guys I date, it seems like they're, uh, as soon as we have sex, they're like a pregnancy bloodhound. Like, sniffing in the air for hidden agendas. <laughs> kind of, uh, looking the condom over a little too long before putting it on. Um, making sure I really love having my period and that my job does not offer maternity leave. That makes them feel more comfortable. I like to tell men that my vagina is like a fine wine. You just, you know, open it up, let it air out a little bit, stick your nose in, kind of swish it around, admire the complexities. But you know, not unlike a fine wine, a vagina, if you leave it out too long, it starts to go sour, starts to ferment, go rotten. So you've got to cork it. That's the punchline. <laughs> Do you ever feel like your butt's going to explode? Do you ever get that feeling? You know, like it's going to erupt in some volcano-like fury? Or literally just blow big chunks of rock and earth away, like miners are gonna put your butt in the cave and save money on dynamite. Do you guys ever feel like that? I don't. Okay, so my last thing, this is a social commentary. Are you ever on YouTube and literally offended by the number of views a certain clip has? Like, Katy Perry's California Girls has 33 million views on YouTube. 33 million. Do you want to know how many views the uh, Obama inaugural speech has? 4 million. So, uh, Katy Perry's 
sweaty milk sacks have eight times more views than our first and most fuckable black president. California Girls has a Z in it, by the way. Okay, that's it. Thank you.